Guys, it is that panda guy. I'm here again with another video, and I'm gonna be going over what you need for tier six troops. And it's not a point that many people in the game, at least at this point, have reached, as it's just like really expensive with either time or just your money, right? And I'm gonna be telling you everything you're gonna need for it. And I mean, it's honestly uh kind of a lot, but it's also my. I mean, it's just like a lot of gems. I feel like, and basically. First off, you're obviously going to need a headquarters 25 just to start this off. So all those buildings that you need to lead up to this level, you're going to need all those to 25. Um, but the main points I'm going to be calling out are the main buildings that you need. And that's going to be Battle Center. Battle Center 25. And I want to say uh, when you rally hive mines, you can get a lot of... Um, the stuff to upgrade it i forget what they're called but they're little tokens you need to upgrade it and honestly that might be a big reason you're going to need to be grinding either hive mines or you're going to have a stockpile of gems that you're just going to blow into this because basically if you don't spend stuff that you get off hive mines i'm guessing it's going to be around 300 to maybe even 400 000 gems worth of tokens and obviously you're probably going to get some of that off hive mines as long as you're rallying with your team. So that's going to encourage you. You also need lookout tower 25 because I want to mention that this can only go up to 24 without the lookout tower at 25. So you're going to have to get lookout tower to 25, which could take a lot of gems or you could spend a lot on the wrestle event. And you can open these up supply chests and you can get a lot of these uh, out outpost toolboxes. But... I mean, if you're not trying to play for like a year or two to get tier six, you might just want to spend a bunch of gems to beef in this up. And basically, after you have those two at 25, you can upgrade your research lab to 25, which you really need to unlock tier six. And when you get to your, through your research, basically, you see I'm mostly, um, I'll show you, I'm mostly maxed out in most cases, right? Like, I only have this over here kind of to max out which honestly like these aren't as time expensive or time consuming as these last three are going to be and basically like um so i want to kind of give an example when i put it i i'll have hand over president to do these um to buff myself if i give myself the 10 percent buff and then i actually use two thousand gems for another buff this can drop to i think 55 or 54 days of off the research speed and after that research buff i uh you you do the research and then you get alliance helps and the alliance helps can drop it to i'd say around like um I don't know, maybe 37 days and that's if your research speed is pretty good for the most part mine is uh and this i actually kind of want to show this off to kind of show you guys that you you can't do this without having your economic tree maxed out as well. I used to only think it was military tech that you needed to max, but you also have to max out your full economic tree to even think about getting tier six. So everything, all your research has to basically be maxed out for you to get tier six. And that's really all there is to it. It's just really time consuming. I wouldn't even say the resources are terrible. I mean, for some people looking at these resources, maybe like, what are you talking about? That's six, that's basically 60 million food and wood if you combine the two and then 15 million steel but i mean especially when you've been playing for a longer time or you spend a lot of money these resources are probably going to be either in your bags or you're going to have gathered a stock stock load as you see i've gathered 8.5 billion over the the play time of this game so honestly the resources aren't the problem it's really the speed and as you can see i only have four days right now i just done my other research and uh did it for an event so i'm kind of like stuck right now but yeah i hope this video does help so make sure to try to get those metro buffs those buffs really help save you a few days of speeds and all that so peace out you guys have a good day